Wow. Canelo's team is at it again. Canelo's team, Golden Boy, they're looking to go after the now vacant belt from David Benavidez over the weekend because he failed to miss weight. We're going to talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button for the latest and greatest in boxing. Shout out to everybody using the ESPN link over the weekend for the UFC fight. You can continue to do so. It helps the channel continue to grow, put out this fire content. Now, man, what am I hearing? Let's let's talk about it. Smash the like button, will you? And if you're new, consider subscribing. I drop daily content. Lance Pugmire of The Athletic. He put out this tweet. Very, he's going to get very interesting. Lance Pugmire says the WBC Board of Governors will meet Tuesday to decide the numerous requests from fighters seeking a shot at the 168 pound belt left vacated or vacant by David Benavidez. Requests are from Canelo. Get this. Caleb Smith, Benavidez, and Aziz Beck, whatever, and Avni Yildrim. Now, the only name out of this list that sounds like it doesn't really make too much sense is really Canelo. You know, Caleb Smith a bit, but definitely Canelo. And I'm going to explain why in this situation that I feel this way. Now, first of all, let's let's start with the rankings so no actually let me let me backtrack david benavidez just fought main event showtime it was a a good performance and he looked excellent super saiyan bah, bah, uh, uh. He, every time he was throwing punches he was grunting and he was putting the hurt on the boy angulo right very good performance it was a rightful stoppage he got a 10th round tko his his opponent couldn't come back out for the 11th round it was a massacre 50s sophomore album massacre <laughs> something special so david benavidez looked good however the day before he missed weight at the weigh-in and they didn't have facilities set up we're in a pandemic you know this is all new so there was no sauna for him to try to bleed the extra three pounds from his body 2.8 if we're being technical he came in 2.8 pounds heavy he says post fight you know he got the victory and he, he rated himself, I think, an eight out of a 10, which it was that's accurate. He looked good. And, you know, he said he got to work on his eating and his nutrition. He said he does train hard. You know, people can say whatever they want about him having discipline issues, but he feels that they would have showed up if he had true, true discipline issues. He's still dedicated to his craft, just has to fine tune the nutrition. So I like David Benavidez a lot and I liked him just taking that on the chin. And just, you know, accepting the criticism, which will come when you do something unprofessional in boxing and miss weight, you know, because people are rooting for you. Even your fans are going to be like, you know, the not the biased fans that only feel one way or they won't correct you when you're wrong, stuff like that. But the true fans of boxing, you know, they want to see you continue to get your title, but, you know, be professional. So no problem with that. So David Benavidez, even though he won, he was not able to keep his belt this is the second time it's happened so we got to figure out these these things because he's not losing in the ring but he's losing his belt it's not a good thing he has to bridge that gap so now his belt becomes vacant with the wbc at super middleweight 168 which leads to this video and now you see david benavidez Caleb smith um the as is these beck and the avenue yildrum and canelo are all gunning for this now vacated belt the reason that this is not i don't like this for canelo is because canelo out of all these names he doesn't need a belt you see what i'm saying because he's already a popular guy i think his popularity is waning like you know he was considered the face of boxing but i think we're removed from that golden boy and canelo have not been able to get his fights done in an adequate amount of time this is the second uh september in a row where he hasn't been able to fight on the date that he wanted the Mexican dates. This is the third consecutive Mexican date, if we're including Cinco de Mayo in May, that he hasn't been able to fight. The pandemic created the lapse this Cinco de Mayo, so nobody really fought. So, you know, it is what it is. But September of last year and then September of this year. So that's three times in a row Canelo has not got the prestigious dates that he claimed that he wanted to own and um, capture after Floyd Mayweather retired, who was customarily fighting on those dates. So, 
he's a he's a guy that doesn't even really need a belt to represent his popularity. Meanwhile, you have in boxing other guys where a belt or a unified belt like Caleb Smith or David Benavidez being belted back up or as Aziz Beck and stuff. These guys actually need belts for, you know, their brand when they're announcing them in this corner. You know, WBC champion of the world, Aziz Beck. That's that's just what it is. Canelo, he's once you reach an echelon of popularity like Mayweather, you don't really need a belt per se. You know, Pacquiao, he's done so much. A belt is nice to have, but he doesn't need it. So to me, that's one greedy. Two, that would represent Canelo has to fight a fighter like uh, Evni Yildrum, right? And I'm going to pull up the rankings for you. This is the super middleweight WBC rankings, right? The number one ranked person is Avni Yildrum, right? So he's from Turkey. He's not a big name. Why would I want to see Canelo fight Avni Yildrum when he fought Kovalev? Nobody told him to fight Kovalev at 175. And he's just trying to, you know, for lack of a better word, cherry pick easier fights. There's fights with Charlo. There's fights with David Benavidez, stuff like that. And it, it seems like Canelo's team is up to their old tricks, right? So you look at the rankings, Avni Yildrum and Aziz Beck, they're the number one and two ranked guys. So the fair thing to do would to be to have one of them fight or one of them fight David Benavides because David Benavides, he did make a mistake and not make his weight. But you could also argue, hey, we're in a pandemic. They didn't have facilities that normally would be available like you know so you could ride the bike or a sauna room those things are or normally custom so you you know you might be able to give them a break there saying hey there's no access to a sauna room i would have tried to make the wait and you know because you have within two hours stuff like that so it really depends on where the wbc places him where they place him you know since he actually since he actually lost right or Caleb smith is the diamond champion so he has a rightful, you know, placement in the in this conversation as well. So the right thing to do would be to have the diamond champion, Caleb Smith, fight one of the top two guys, I would assume Avni Yildrum, or have the top two guys fight. Or if you want to rank David Benavidez, you know, and rank him back in the top one or two, then have him fight Avni Yildrum. Those are all fair. But Canelo, he is a champion with the WBA, which I have pulled up for you guys. So you see Canelo Alvarez is the WBA world champion. So usually the champions don't get ranked within other sanctioning bodies. So why would Canelo have any type of direct access unless it's politics and the money he represents? But it's, is it fair for boxing? You see what I'm saying? Is it fair for boxing? So to me, I don't want to see Canelo Yildrum. I don't, you know, I don't think it's a good fight. Also, you have to look at the dynamics. Canelo is fighting on an app. So paying $20 a month for a fight like Canelo Yildrum, I'd rather see it on Showtime, you know. I'd rather see it on Showtime, David Benavides versus Yildrum for that belt again. You know what I'm saying? So Canelo's team, it looks like they're always looking for um, these little accolades like oh we're gonna fight kovalev who almost got stopped in his last fight quick turnaround rehydration clause with the non-disclosure agreement the nda and they're looking for these little avenues so it looks good on paper you know we'll fight rocky fielding at 168 oh canelo's a four division champion but in my opinion decisions like that it's not good for boxing nor is it for the real boxing fans gonna really up the ante and make you you know solidify canelo more than what he already is we know canelo's a good fighter he's a great fighter terrific but until he stops looking after the path of least resistance then you know it, it it's not gonna look good this is why he's been criticized by mexican legends like nacho Berestein, juan manuel marquez eric morales and others you know david fatelson of espn elos copes you know because it seems like he's constantly trying to go after the unheralded name and stuff like that. Like he shouldn't even really be in this WBC conversation yet. Golden boy, according to 
um, the athletics, Lance Pugmire, they have fielded a request. So they're trying to jump on it. And normally, you know, I, I get it. You want to jump on a vacant belt. But Canelo, like I said, he he's past the, the point where a belt is just defining him. Let these other guys scrap for a belt. And then if David Benavides fights Yodrum or something like that, then fight the winner of that, which which will probably be David Benavides. But, you know, it seems like Canelo is is always looking to almost game the system. So I think it's a bad look that Canelo's team even put in a request. Plus, like I said, he's the WBA champion. So why is he trying to get a, a vacant belt, you know, for fake unification? Because he doesn't even have the, the real version of the belt. You know, he doesn't even have the real version of the belt. He has a secondary version, you know. So I just look. So Caleb Smith is the WBA super champion. Canelo has a belt at 168, but it's the regular world champion, the regular version, you know. And then now Canelo's team is trying to get him in the mix. And the other thing is this. I just don't think that's good for DAZN. Again, I don't think people are chomping at the bit to see a fight like Canelo versus David Yildrum. I can, I can see how... David Benavidez, based on his last performance and him being young, making, you know, some mistakes along the way, they want to see him try to get his belt back. So I could see that being um, something that fans would want because he beat himself rather than anything else. You know, so I, I really hope that WBC is fair with whatever meeting that they have on Tuesday and they should just dismiss Canelo's team's effort to try to capture a now vacant belt. You know, and, and as long as Canelo team continues to do these things, they're going to always receive this type of criticism from myself and other fans. Because, again, it looks like they're trying to take the easy route. For example, you have fights like Charlo. You have fights like David Benavidez. You have fights like Better Beav. You move up to light heavyweight. You don't fight Better Beav. But your team says Better Beav is an easier fight than Kovalev. But you fight Kovalev and knock him out. Why don't you stay at light heavyweight and fight better, better be of and unify? Instead, Canelo's team got rid of that belt. You know, so you can't say better be of is an easier fight than Kovalev. And I disagree with that. I think better be of would have leaned Kovalev with less struggle than Canelo had. Canelo took 11 rounds. I think better be of would have knocked out uh, Kovalev much sooner and it would have been gruesome. And he had already beat him in the amateurs. So little decisions like that. You know, let's talk about better be of and. You know, I could pull all this stuff up. Canelo says better be of easier. Cola. Let's see. All right. His team said this. So Canelo's team was called out by Ramsey, Mark Ramsey. He said Canelo won't fight Arter better be of. Right. So this is what I'm talking about. Canelo's trainer, Eddie Reynoso, says Canelo is ready for better be of. Kovalev is better. October 19th. Then why didn't you fight better be? You see what I'm saying? So these decisions from Team Canelo is just overall a bad look. You can't say that. And it's not just about better be. It's also why did Canelo's team said they don't want to fight a Mexican fighter? You can't pick and choose who you have to fight. The ethnicity, national origin, that stuff shouldn't matter. If the best guy in your respective divisions that you're fighting in is black, white, Chinese, Puerto Rican, Mexican, you, you should fight him. That's boxing, you know. So why not fight Zordo Ramirez at 175, especially if you want to fight on the Mexican dates? Why not fight David Benavidez, a Mexican-American who has an offensive onslaught? That would be a great fight with Canelo. And David Benavidez has called out Canelo. So if Canelo's trying to fight Yildrum and stuff like that, then it's just not a good look, bro. He keeps getting called out by David Benavidez and his dad, and he's trying to fight Yildrum for a vacant belt, you know, when he's already a champion. See, look, this is David Benavidez calling out Canelo April 8th. Boom. Shout out to my man, Icy. And he's not responding to that. But now that David Benavidez don't have the belt, he's trying to go after the belt to fight a Yildrum or, or somebody else. Like, it's just a bad look, you know, and this I can go on and on and on. And I know the Canelo man fans are going to be angry, but I'm here to speak the truth. Don't watch my channel. If you don't like the truth, don't watch my channel. Um, the other thing is, like, even at 154, Canelo could have fought Demetrius Andre or he could have fought the Charlos. Now they're at the same division, Jamal Charlo and Boo Boo Andre. Boo Boo Andre is aligned with the zone. 
and you're trying to fight everybody but Demetrius Andrade. And you could have fought him at 54 or 60. Same thing with Jamal. Now, the thing with Andrade, this dates back. Andrade at 154, he had the belt, the WBO belt or WBA, one of the two. He had the belt and he got stripped of the belt for inactivity, right? Demetrius Andre, watch. He got stripped for inactivity. After 13 months with no title defenses and none scheduled, Andre was stripped of the title, right? By the WBO. Boom. So just to show this, Demetrius Andre called Canelo the B word. He said, at this time, this is way back in 2015. See, the Canelo fans, the walls are closing in because they keep saying that Canelo will fight these guys. Oh, just wait. Andre will get his butt kicked. Boom, boom, boom. This was in 2015. He could when 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 Andre was calling him out. I don't care if you don't like his style. I don't care if you don't like his approach or whatever. He's a top guy and he's a champion. Then he became a champion at 160 where Canelo recently fought. And now he can't all of a sudden make 160. So the WBO stripped Andre of his junior middleweight title due to inactivity, right? The whole time Andre was calling him the B word, right? He didn't fight him. But then later he fought after after Liam Smith acquired that title, right? Canelo fought Liam Smith when Liam Smith got the title. An unknown UK guy, another British fighter. Liam Smith versus Canelo. Britain loses his WBA O middleweight title. Light middleweight title. 154 title. Lost his WBA. So when Andre had the belt, Team Canelo and Andre was calling him the B word, you know, and I could probably pr prove that, you know, if y'all want. Demetrius Andre. Hold on. Watch. Look. Man, where's the video? I'm trying to find the video. But anyway, I know it. Oh, Demetri here, here. This maybe this will pull up. Demetrius Andre calls Canelo a bit, you know. No, I'm I'm looking for the bit the actual video. Anyway, bottom line is Andre was talking greasy, and when he had the belt, you didn't fight him. And now you're in the same division, you still aren't fighting him. And he's on the zone with you, and the zone is in need of a big fight and it hits because they're subscription base and then now you might go after if any avni yildrum you know who chris eubank beat <laughs> i don't know man i don't know it's not a good look walls are closing in for canelo they're trying to just circumvent and, and like you know build these these monuments and, and tell you what canelo is and stuff like that look if any yildrum Charlo, I mean, excuse me, Chris Eubank, as I mentioned in 2017, beat him by KO in the third round. And that's who Canelo's trying to fight. Again, the reason why I'm not stressing these other guys is because Caleb Smith is relatively unproven. He's not as popular, and he's the diamond WBC champion. Benavidez, he just lost his, his belt basically on a technicality. So I'm not mad at him trying to fight the highest ranked guy to get his belt back. Cause he really didn't look i mean he looked great and then these two guys are the rank guys so the only one that sticks out like a sore thumb is canelo alvarez who doesn't really need to be in the conversation we'll see what the wbc board of governors chooses but to me it's a bad look if canelo somehow cuts the line and they try to make it look like it's a unification because then you're going to know it's politics and money and i just don't think it's that sellable sellable of a fight point blank period I think Canelo, he's going to continue to get the same levels of criticism for the same thing until he does what's right with his career and start taking some of the tougher tests. Benavidez had the belt. Like, just, li just listen to what I'm saying. David Benavidez had the WBC belt. Where's the offer? They allegedly Canelo wanted to fight Charlo and Caleb Plant, but David Benavidez had the WBC belt and lost it on a technicality from a miscalculation in his weight now you want to go after the WBC belt? Terrible look. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Walls are closing in. It's like an Indiana Jones movie. The walls are closing in. 
As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. So I know. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more sports. Get unlimited access to premium content with an ESPN Plus subscription. ESPN Plus offers a variety of content, including specials, behind the scenes, docuseries like Bruce Lee's, B. Walter, and much more. With an ESPN Plus subscription, you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the UFC. Big names like, hi, I'm Mike Tyson, come and watch my fight, Floyd Mayweather, easy work, I'm rich, and Manny Pacquiao, uh, yes, it's up to my promoter, do, 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 do. just to name a few. If that's not enough, you could get the ESPN bundle, which includes ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus, all three apps one low price you don't want to miss out make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing